All right, all right, YouTube, Sunday morning, 7.20. I'm actually a little, running a little late. I got a freezer to look at. I told the customer I'd be there at 7. But man, I was kind of dragging. We had a nice big thunderstorm last night with lightning, which we usually don't get here. So we kind of all drove down to the beach at like 3.30 in the morning and the wife got some videos of it, some pictures. So it's kind of like, you know, that's kind of nice for us. You guys are probably sick of thunderstorms. For us, it was kind of cool. We're in the, we're having a nice little heat wave right now. It's uh, well, let me get this wiper thing going. It's like seven in the morning, it's already 77 degrees, which for here is usually our high temperature. So yeah, it's gonna get nice and cooking today. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Love the sun. Yeah. See, I think it's it's a true, it's either a two-door or a three-door freezer. I'm thinking it's a two-door uh, freezer, 404A model. I've worked on it before. Years ago, we did a video on it. I think it had like a, a burned up, some burned up wires and a dead condenser fan motor. It's probably been three or four years. If I can find that video, I'll try and stick a card up here somewhere um, on that one. Let's get out there. so that it's getting harder and harder to film right now because the places have less um, staff because of the Rona so a lot of times now the uh, proprietors are there and they're kind of lurking over your shoulder seeing what you're doing you know so it's getting hard, a little bit harder to get video that's why some of my videos have been shorter lately um, what do we got going on here? A bubble machine? <laughs> Bubbles! Sweet. Um, yeah, so the freezer just had a bad condenser fan motor. And also they were closing the door or leaving the door open because it's hot. And then the door would cover the condenser area. So we got those two issues corrected. And then there was a makeup table. I looked at a little pizza table. And it has three bad door gaskets and the air is leaching in there. So it's it's running super high head. It's having a hard time keeping up. So I'm gonna come back, change the door gaskets. I wanna recover the charge, put a proper fitting on it. It had a bullet valve. And then uh, pull a vacuum and weigh in the correct charge on that thing. I got a feeling it's a little bit overcharged too. So, and again, that's another, another building in my area that has no air conditioning. You know, a lot of the places here don't have air conditioning. So when it does get 100 degrees for two, three, four days in a row, all the equipment just melts down. And there's really not much you can do for it. Let's get to the next one. The next one's a drink, uh, drink cooler. All right, this one's got the broken drain fitting on the true. You can see there. Put the drain pan up there. So we'll have to take the drain pan out to repair that. Should have one on the van, I think I do. And then of course, Multiple Fender Deluxe, dirty coil. We'll get that cleaned up too. All right, I'll just take all the screws around the edge of the drain pan and then drop it down, like you can see right there. So I can get in for my new fitting. It's gonna go through right there. There's the, there's all the broken pieces. Let's go out to the van and see what we got. Got the straight one, and then the one with the little 45 on it. 
Bam! Should have an RHS part on there, a 61010. RHS part number. RHS is refrigeration hardware supply. Let's go fix this thing. Coming through like a champ. All right, and you get it in there. It's pretty self-explanatory. Get your hose back on. And do your best contortionist to get all the screws back in. Get all these screws up in here. Uh, we'll wash that coil and we'll give this thing a test run. Oh, broken piece. And uh, we'll get some coil cleaner in the pump sprayer and wash this out real good. Right, let's get this thing plugged in. Quick of death. That's about how it goes. Let's see if we can get a start cord on there. Multiple Offender Deluxe. It just gets better and better as you dig into it. Look, bullet valve. So that's telling me it's got a leak in it too, so it's probably low on charge. Let's see what we can do with these start components. Goner. All right, she wants me to get the compressor and the condenser fan motor for that 17 year old fridge. I even looked up new ones for her to buy, but yeah, they want to fix it. Ooh, it's gonna be sketch. But yeah, we'll throw a compressor and a condenser fan in there. And uh, it might get dicey. We'll have to see. We'll have to back blow that cap tube and see if it's any good. I'll make sure I pick up a cap tube for that compressor too. On those trues, I normally, I'll run it up the back of the machine and tape it. Tape it to the, uh, with some like foil tape to the back of the unit. I'll run it out the back, exposed, and then drill a hole in. That's about what you gotta do on those. So we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned.